Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is when you watch this. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And if you're interested in reviews of radios, antennas, scanners, gadgets, please subscribe. And if you, after you subscribe, you get that little bell, then you will get immediate notification that I've posted a new video. Okay, moving on. I watched a video a couple of days ago about a vector network analyzer. And I didn't quite know what it was all about. You know, I was thinking maybe it's, since it has the word network, maybe it's for, you know, networks on your computer systems and stuff like that have nothing to do with radios. Well, I watched a video and <clears throat> the guy was showing how to use it to test antennas to check um, reflected power, SWR, stuff like that. So I went on Amazon to see what these things were. He said the one he bought in the video was quite old. It probably was a year old. And he said it was $50. So I, already, I did a search, and here it is, $49.99. Now, this is a different brand, I think, because the one he had is down here. And it's called the Nano VNA, and it's $80. And the thing is, when I did a search, here's one $55. Here's one for $59. Here's one for another one for 79, 79, 72, 49. And I even saw one. I don't know if I'll run across it again. That it was $39. $39 for this little gimmick. And I watched his video and I was impressed for checking out such things as your antennas, um, your cables going to your antenna and stuff like that. And I just, I like, yeah, I like to get one of these, but I was confused about the fact that they all look similar, but they're sold by different people under different names for different prices. So my dilemma is, are they all the same, or are they not? Now the one thing I did notice is some of the lower cost ones, I don't want to say inexpensive or cheap, but the lower cost ones appeared to come from China because they had a, like a four week delivery time. And the ones that you could get um, overnight or two day were considerably higher based on the fact that were low to begin with. So for instance, if I go up here and I'll see that this will work. I'll do a filter by prime, or I can do it by delivery day. So let's let's do it by prime. That's probably the simplest thing, since I do have a prime account. Okay, there's one. We don't want that one. Seventy nine. So that was eighty dollars. I guess the cheapest one I saw was thirty nine. So that's double the price, but you do get it like tomorrow. And it does have the accessories that the gentleman showed in his video, which are used to calibrate the device. And I'm really interested in this, so I'm looking for inputs from my viewers. Number one, what's the difference? What's the difference between a Nano VNA, which is what he had, and but he said he paid $49 for it, and a K Moon, K KK Moon. <laughs> That kind of makes you wonder right there. Uh, for $55, and then I saw somewhere, and I can't find it right now, one for $39, but the $39 one was not prime. It was free shipping, but 30 days delivery. So uh, I, I'm, I'm very impatient, so I can't wait 30 days. So, like, for instance, let's just narrow it down. What's the difference between the Nano V... VNA. And there is a users group on the Nano v VNA, and it's really active. Matter of fact, I joined it a couple days ago, and my emails are just pouring in from that. So I had to go back and say, send me, not individual emails, send me a digest. 
so that I only get like four or five a day instead of like 200. It's a very active group. And I can say, I, I don't know anything about these things except what I saw in that video where the gentleman was using it to test his antennas. So the question is, do I opt for the brand that everybody's talking about, the Nano VNA, or do I go with a KK Moon that's considerably cheaper? Let me know what you think. Hopefully there's no difference. Um, let me just see something. This one shows all the accessories. Let me just click on this. And th the other thing that scares me is the ratings. This is 50% 5 stars, 30% 3 stars, and 17% 1 stars. Now, I read some of the reviews, not necessarily on this one, but I read some of the reviews on these. And apparently it's another case of quality control. Like some got one and it was dead, some got one piece was broken, some got one piece was missing. Of course, they got a low rating. So so anyway, just comparing these two, uh, this one's got three and a half stars and this one's got three. Pretty close. There's only seven reviews here, eight reviews here, not a lot of reviews. And I probably, the other thing I do when I'm looking for something is I look at the number of reviews. And most of these that I'm showing, and this is under the filter of Prime only. So let's take the let's take that filter off. Let's clear the filter. That'll give us a chance to look at all of them. So there's one $49, 79, 55, 59, 70. I'm trying to find the $39 one I found before. I'll probably never find it again. Probably buried down here someplace. And you can see there's eight pages of these. <laughs> so you get a lot of choices. There it is, $39. And it's by the same company, KK Moon. And free shipping, but I'm, I bet you this doesn't come right away. Let's just click on it. it looks like it's got the accessories. These uh, accessories are used to calibrate it. And let's see, da -da -da -da, free shipping uh, doesn't say because I haven't logged in, so it won't tell me how long it'd take to get to my house. Select delivery location. Okay, let me just do that temporarily. I don't want to sign in, enter a zip code, enter a zip code. Okay, there it is right there. Zip. Apply. Okay, done. And what does it say? Doesn't tell me. Oh, you son of a gun. Still doesn't tell me. But I suspect, oh, here it is. Get as soon as October 31st. So that's like two weeks away or three weeks away. Oh, through November 22nd. <laughs> could, could be a, two months away. So I, I would not select that, even though it's $39. I would not select that. I cannot wait two months to get something. I would rather pay the difference and get it today or tomorrow. So, back to my original question. What do you know about these things? Is the, um, let me go back up, is the VNA, no, is the Nano any better than the KK Moon? <laughs> Because there was a KK Moon for, let's go back to Prime, uh, $80. Or, well, now what's the difference between these two? Although it doesn't show in the picture here, these little gizmos here. Let's go look. I didn't mean for this to me to babble so long. This, uh, well, yeah. This one does not appear to have those needed device, those needed loads for calibration, which you'd want. You'd really want that. You want to get the whole smear. Now, this shows a cable with something on the end of it. Why do they have to make it so darn complicated? 
And this shows the connectors with things on the end of it, which could be the loads. There's a 50 ohm load, there's an open load, there's a short load, and then there's a pass through. And does it say, well, I'm not going to, that's not my question. My question is, do I get the, now here it says nano VNA. That implies it's the same thing as those other ones that are that are either more expensive or, although this one's pretty expensive. No, no. Oh, I think I back. This one is right tomorrow. So I could get this tomorrow for $56. And, I, okay, I would think I would opt to get this. Now, I'm not going into the details about what this thing does and the frequency range, all this. I'm just trying to get your inputs because I don't know. I don't know anything about these, um, which one to get, because I really want to try one of these. Check it out for you guys so you'll know, hey, this could be a great tool for your ham shack or your radio shack. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and have a great day. Bye-bye.